Hello, this is Zach Wilson from Iron County Land and Water Conservation Department. I'm going to demonstrate how to dig up purple loose stripe in a dry setting. So first of all, we identified the plant. It's got opposite branching. It's got the classic flower of the purple loose stripe. It's a good time to do it. Here is a picture of purple loose stripe. The flowers are in a tall purple stalk on top of the plant. They're attached closely to the stem. If you look, you will also notice the leaves are opposite and whorled, meaning two leaves will grow opposite from one another, and then the two leaves directly above them will also grow opposite, but perpendicular to the leaves below them. The most important thing to remember about this plant is the stem is four-sided, like a box shape. What I like to first start off with doing is to bag the flowers heads and then cut them before you start moving around the plant and digging at it. So carefully take your garbage bag and bend the plant over into the bag and then break it off. And that way the seeds are all contained already in your garbage bag and you don't have to worry about spreading it. Next, I like to clear the native vegetation around the plants. So you leave them and you just work on the base. So it's kind of important to clear a little of, of the vegetation around, try to expose those stalks. So I have one, two, three, four, five, so they're in a couple different probably rhizomes so I like to use like a potato digger or a pitchfork one that's got enough strength on there you're not going to bend the tines so I'm just going to kind of loosen around the plants and this is a, a dry site so it's a lot different depending on your substrate or your soil and this is kind of rocky and dry good spot to dig up a plant so you can just kind of see as I'm loosening all around it trying not to break off the actual roots which might sprout next year and I can take a pretty big chunk of sod with it Fortunately, there's a fern mixed in there. And once the soil is a little loose, it actually probably pulls, you clump them together, it'll pull out fairly good. So here's a chunk. There's one more over here. I like to dig, if, I, if it breaks off like this, don't give up. Go back down in here, and you can kind of feel around in the sediment. A purple loose stripe root is extremely woody and hard. So it's unlike any of the other kind of plants. So it's got this real woody mass. So that's kind of what I go after if it breaks off. Again, save these parts and bag them. One more over here to pull up another chunk, another chunk here. One, two, three, and then the big mass four. And that's good. Bag it and throw it in uh, a black bag, is a good place. Sometimes I'll I'll even let it sit out in the sun on blacktop and kind of cook inside that bag before I throw it in a dumpster. <laughs> 